matched that say a lot a lot about that game i need to regain my professionalism i'm so sorry Oh dear. Every oh. graph just trails off after six minutes. Crazy. All right, let's get back into the lobby. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh... <laughs> I'm going to throw something out there. I'm going to throw out this edgy, edgy idea that could be happening. Um, so Kimbo's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing. We're just going to make this up on the spot because we have to say something good about this series. Uh, Kimbo, Ki Kimbo is, uh, Kimbo is thinking to himself, right? I'm going to play against Vaughn. I've got everybody watching me. What's, what's the best way to work this series? He's going to, he's going to throw the first game in horrendous style so that everybody's kind of saying, this, this guy's a loser. He's worth nothing. Von Ivan's creaming him. And, and then game two, he's going to switch it on and he's going to make an example of Von Ivan. Do you, do you think that could happen? That is genius. After the instruction I gave Kimbo in game one, I am going to double down on him. And Dan, you're exactly right. Kimbo is a god at this game, quite frankly. Through stream sniping everybody in the community week in, week out, he has built up the perfect stream, the perfect skill set for GCS2, and that game one was literally a feint. It was, uh, he's, he's, he's four-dimensional chess, Dan. It's 11-dimensional Tetris. He's going for a 12,000cc, revving his engine up. I don't know where I'm going with this, Dan. Please help me out. Just cut in, please, at any point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, well, we'll cut into that one. Let's, let's see if the game's available. Let's see if the next game's That's good. available. Thank you. And, um... You know, two, two, one of two things are happening right now. Either, either Kimbo's got his head in his hands, kind of on the loading screen, like, oh god, what have I done? Over, overdone my ego for months, and it's all led to this. Or that's, that, that's why or, I'm laughing so much. You know, it's, it's, exactly. He's been steam messaging me, telling but, me that uh, there's nobody better than him in all this for months. But don't laugh just yet, because you, you. Are, I think until it's the third game, you can always look the fool. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if there's you one can. thing Kimbo will want to do, it will be to make. Make you look like a fool uh, we at least do. we at least know that much second game <clears throat> is is live by the way so i'm sorry dude i wanted to get my ram back hang on a second my your, apologies your what my ram my my random access memory uh company error is eating it i may have 16 gigabytes of gdl4 i'm coming straight back don't worry sir oh no i've started the game so oh shit right my bad Right, I can, oh, sorry, I can get out of this. Wait, let me just see if this still works. If anyone doesn't know this, wait, wait. If you get in the please wait screen, if you press back, ah, you can break it. If no way! Know, if, anyone did, if anyone didn't know that little trick, you know now. I'm ready for you. Uh, that's, that's hitting escape and hitting back at the same time. Right, let's go wow. into... Let's go into... That. Right. <clears throat> you got the invite? I've got it. Good, good. Yeah, I'm sorry, everybody. If you're not uh, accustomed to the, that, there, that was a little bit of unprofessionalism of me, but it was genuine, just hysterics. Because Kimbo has built himself up to me and to others. Others, I've got you know friends coming to me and saying this Kimbo guy's been saying he's going to destroy everybody, uh, and he's he's made you know people stop streaming at times. So it's a, almost a little bit of karma, let's call it. I don't think you have anything to apologise for. I don't think Thank you. you. Just, I don't want to overstep them all. No, no, no. <laughs> you're you're feeling bad for someone that has made everyone else feel bad for months. <laughs> so, <laughs> so don't. You have nothing to apologize for. Um, but uh, let's see what Kimbo does in this next game. I think that we can talk as much as we like. We can pretend that there's some grand plan behind this. It could all fall apart in game two, which is live now. So let's. Oh, actually, okay, okay. make sure I get the scores right going in, because uh, Relic likes to change the player cards to its own preference. And no one knows what that preference is. No, nobody will ever do. Relic don't even know what that preference is. They just, they, it's like they made some RNG machine. It just controls them. It's just, uh, I want to do this it's, this way. <laughs> Consult the machine. It's beavers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into game two. Hello everybody, welcome to game two of the series, our second series today, uh, after tragically losing 
game one, and I, I've really been tragically uh, even dominated him. We're going to have uh, Kimbo, in inverted commas, God, playing Soviets from the south side of Crossroads. And from the north side, he's the master of chaos, the chief purveyor of calamity, and uh, the engineer of Kimbo's systematic destruction. It's experts von Ivan as OKW locking in special operations doctrine from the north. It's, um, what are we expecting from this game? Uh, we really want to see something interesting from Kimbo. Now, interestingly, he has gone for advanced warfare tactics. I like that. It's going to have radio intercept. Um, conscript repairs, that's always really, really useful. But uh, not meta. Definitely not meta. No. So Kimbo still wants to throw in some curveballs. I think that's sensible, you know. Uh, but he is playing risks. He needs points. He didn't didn't appear in the last qualifier. He needs to do well in these events. He does. I think uh, Advanced Warfare is a weak commander. It used to be one of the strongest, but the IL-2 strafe is bad. Yeah. Um, oh, we should point uh, out, I mean, this, this isn't a loiter. Uh, this is like you, you pick the direction and it just goes there. It's oh. strafe, exactly. It's just strafe once. Um, it's nothing on the loiter. And the conscripts, you're going to need probably to spam them. And by spam, I mean more than four, because that's the true strength of the commander. It's uh, conscript repair kits, PPSHs, and, um, you know, that's the true strength of it, really. But that, I, I used, I've seen Talisman use it to that effect, with, like, six con builds and crazy stuff like that. But other than that, the commander strength really isn't quite there. Well, let's just see if uh, there's anything that uh, Kimbo knows in advance, because you have a look at Von Ivan, you have a look at his bulletins, he's packing two Luke's bulletins, which heavily suggests, unless he's really bluffing, uh, that he is going to go for mechanized. So maybe Kimbo has picked this in a response, maybe he's kind of seen this in the loadout and thinks, I have a vague idea what Von's going for. There could be some kind of deeper strategy to this that we're not seeing right now. Um, nevertheless, Kimbo's going to go in with four cons, heavy cons build. It's a heavy cons build, and that's what he needs to do to get the most out of this commander. Von Ivan, by the way, has decided to go OKW from now on. He might be saving his mobile F, maybe, for some particular opponents, but uh, in general, OKW is now his faction of choice. And uh, it's all about getting this command panther on the battlefield using these great infiltration tactic grenades. And in this case, using the Kubelvog and to push conscripts around and out of cover. I wonder if the... Uh... Yeah, I mean, he, he, I guess he's just looking at the time. Von's one of those players. He's just going to know the time that everything comes out. He probably knows exactly how long it takes to get four cons in the field and then upgrade them. So he's probably looked, look at the clock. Yeah, I can push with this, Google. Um, it just kind of surprises me sometimes how confident players are to push push a unit that potentially has the counter. But uh, Von's, I a, Von's we've a pro never, I suppose we've never trained to the standard and to the extent that some of these top-level players have. And they have a mastery of this game with its timings and the game sense and the feel for what you can do with a unit at a particular point in time in a particular area of the map that uh, most of us and that like 98% of this Twitch chat will never even experience. And you just have to know that when you're watching Von Ivan play at his <clears throat> height of his abilities, it is a true master at work. He is. You're absolutely right. And I guess we have a kind of slight benefit in the fact that through casting, we get to regularly see these players and talk to these players. And I think that's actually where you get a little bit of an insight into what depth is going on during the game. That's kind of mm. how we relay it, at least, because we know what these players are thinking. Like, they've, they've told us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but to actually spot that kind of thing sometimes can be a little bit difficult and convoluted. So... Um, Kimbo's in a difficult position here now, Dan. He's having to stack behind this shed because he's not in a position to branch out and to get behind cover. So he's, uh, <coughs> he's firing behind medium cover, massed against uh, also behind medium cover, massed. You've got three um, first grenades, but they're winning. And here comes the Kubel. Is it going to push him out of uh, position? I think he might find that just a little bit too risky. I think this Kubel could be really useful for Von because there's nothing on the top left side of the map at the moment. Kubel could be quick capping once there's enough manpower to just continually harass Kimbo outside his base. But uh, just have a look at Von Ivan at the moment. I think he's going to go for that decap of the fuel to the left hand side and once that happens are we seeing game one all over again? Where is Kimbo going with this? He has no tier currently. He has no tier but there are many tiers very soon. Um, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. 
Well, you've been casting with me for years. And... <laughs> well, that was the best lead in. I, I just could tell you were going to come with that second. You don't have to practice. No, it's yeah. fantastic. You're ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> I also knew you were going to do that. <laughs> like, um, there's. Uh, You've got TM-35 mines up, by the way. Two Soviet mines deep within OKW territory. One on the North Road and one next to the standard territory point just there within. So uh, it's pretty decent play by uh, Kimbo to have done that. It's, in fact, pretty could be pretty decent, especially when the, uh, the Luke's hits of Von Ivan, because he has gone for Mechanized first. And it is nearly completed. Oh, don't, don't forget that uh, Kubo just going down there. So. Gee, where did was that, that to the combat engineers? Yes, I it, was. it was. They yeah, can't can't find the Kubel. But... Vehicle destroyed. The Kubel went down all the way north side by the van, east of the east base entrance. East. You oh, missed gosh. it on camera. Really go, far. Go the... <laughs> I can yeah, see it there now. you go. Yeah, it looked vaguely. That I direction. didn't catch that on camera either. When I I was watching my own camera with nobody seeing what I see. So. No, no hard feelings. No. Uh, but that, let's not forget, by the way, Kimbo has radio intercept, so Kimbo's going to know that the uh, that the Luke's comes out on the field. Let's have a look in his base. He hasn't teched AT grenades yet. Doesn't have guards. Uh, I don't really know what he's doing. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm looking at Kimbo right now. I'm thinking just, well, even with radio intercept, he's not really using it. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's not really using any of the information he gets to go, hmm, Vaughn's just built mechanized regiment. What's that going to be? Be more like he's Polish. Yeah. That's what it would sound like. I'd be really, really keen to see Von Ivan use radio silence when he when it comes out on the field. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, Pioneers nearly got the kill on those conscripts there. I was so close. Three um, Sturmgewehrs firing in unison, but uh, Kimbo's now going to be able to push them away with a mine, and that mine could lead to a squad wipe. Brilliant, brilliant mine placement. I think he knew that that was going to happen at some game. You see the way he zoned in on that squad as it was on the retreat path as well? He knew it was going to pass that. Somehow, Von Ivan uh, gets away with it. Big shout out to Mozin Nagant's rifle, long, long distance accuracy. I think they're great at range, and especially at clearing up units on retreat. You can always count on the conscript to do that. Oh, oh. look at this, though. Von Ivan's going to oh. do the exact same counter. Spots the weaker squad and he targets the uh, the one with now two models left. Has a good opportunity to clear this. Gets the squad wipe. Fantastic. There you go. But the uh, the Axis by comparison just don't have that long distance accuracy. So it can never get the squad wipe. And that's the big uh, problem. And the best benefit of having loads of conscripts. See the Luke's there also tripping some of the tripwire flares laid by the, uh, the conscripts. That, of course, has meant that uh, Kimbo doesn't get that additional hit to the Volk's Grenadiers. Happened on the right-hand side. There's also one on the VP2. Mm. One's not really Luke's is right not, The Lux is going to be an absolute beast now. It's in perfect position to punish Kimbo, keep him off the battlefield, and uh, just demoralize him completely. He's got to now try, and in my opinion, try and push for the west side. He's got to change tact. Um, yeah, get the Tankovi Battalion command up, but to be honest, you can't really wait for that too much. He might have been better getting a... Well, he has got his one Zisk gun, so he's okay. He's got one Zisk gun, but he might have been better getting a Maxim or something just to keep him solidified. Because if you can, if you can push him over to that west side, he can take advantage